Good morning. We are in Perea Canyon and we're just starting a four day, three night backpacking trip. We dropped off our car at the end of the trail and then we got a shuttle back to the start. It just dropped us off. So now we're really in it, you know? There's no going back now. This is the river and as Nick described it, it looks like chocolate milk that's been made with skim milk, which I think is very accurate. <laughs> it's ice. For a big picture look at what we're doing, this is the Utah-Arizona border and we're starting up here in Utah and going all the way down following the river till we get to Lee's Ferry in Arizona. I wanted to show you, I'm wearing my normal like trail shoes here, but then underneath I have neoprene socks which are just incredible because this water is very cold. We tried crossing it a few times without them and my feet were numb. So this is very slippery. Look at this. Hmm. We are about seven miles in, so we just stopped in this amazing place to take a quick break and have some lunch, and then we continue on that way. For lunch, it's the usual tuna and crackers. He found me. Look how tall these are. It's crazy. Woo! This is camp for day one. Look at that view. It's just like all around us. I love it. And Nick is down there getting some water. And we're gonna start to let it settle and then filter it. Kind of gonna be a process because we did not make it to the first spring today. So we're gonna have to kind of get as much water as we need for tonight and tomorrow morning. This is the before and the after. So we just let it settle down like after I don't know, 20, 30 minutes and then pour the top layer into this one and then filter with the Sawyer squeeze into this one and it's clear. I bet if I told you this was chocolate milk, you would believe me. We're starting the hike on day two and it should be a really beautiful hike through the canyon. We're gonna try and get 10 miles in today just to keep a good pace for the next few days. So far, I feel pretty good. How do you feel start of day two? Pretty good, hips are yeah. like tender, but. Yeah. Oh. This is the life right here. Oh God, that was a lot deeper than I thought it would be. <laughs> Look at this hanging gardens in the rock. We're actually on the lookout for the next spring because that's where we want to filter a good amount of water from for the rest of the day and probably tonight. That's the kind of stuff that you would want to look for in the rock. As you can see, there is water dripping down, but it's not really a good stream to filter from. Plus, I don't really want to stand in that water while I do it. So there should be one coming up. Look at this piece of petrified wood. It is very heavy. Look how cool it is. It's awesome. And just leave it right where we found it, in a hole. <laughs> 
We found the big spring, which is what we've been looking for. Look how incredible these hanging gardens are. They're just one of my favorite features of these sorts of desert hikes. It's like these plants are growing out of the rock. It's the coolest thing to me. All the way to here on day one then we're trying to get somewhere around here day two <laughs> my shoe made a fart noise it's really hard to show just how tall that wall is it's like insanely tall Day three, and we're just waking up. <laughs> no! <laughs> Time to get up. Good morning. This is breakfast. I'm having some coffee and a honey matcha oatmeal that I made at home. So I got a little packet of honey here. Let this sit for a few minutes. I love that green color. So we started day three, still feeling pretty good. A little more sore, a little more tired, but it still continues to be pretty epic. So I'm pretty happy. Get your pan away. <laughs> most majestic lizard right here. The end of day three. I am so excited to get my feet out of here. The best feeling ever. Nick is having the basil pesto couscous. It's on my YouTube channel, so I'll link to it below. It does not require a dehydrator. I'm having just another pasta, which wasn't what I was planning to eat tonight, but kind of just what I felt like having. I pretty much always can eat pasta when I'm backpacking, like night after night after night. I love it.
Good morning, day four, last day, and we're having a little coffee chat here. Nick saved a lizard's life yesterday. <laughs> saved a lizard's life. I was by the river cleaning my shoes and I saw a lizard belly up floating down and Nick was downstream of me and I said, hey, look, there's a lizard, I think he's dead. So then Nick, I don't know what you did. You can tell us. No, you're better at it. So Nick scoops the lizard to the shore and scoops him up in a bunch of mud and then- he... I don't, I just saw him move his head, maybe blink. I don't know, I couldn't really tell. So we brought him into the sun and then he just, I don't know, you could see him breathing for a little bit. He just kind of sat there and then he woke up and looked at us and then ran away. Still alive, thought he was dead. I for sure thought he was dead the water's because- water's so cold, I think. Yeah. I don't know, paralyzed him. Yeah, because they're cold blooded and when you scooped him um, up- I thought he was dead. Yeah. Belly up. And then all of a sudden he just ran away. It was so cool. A little lizard savior here. Ugh. We're just hanging out at camp and then we're gonna hike out to the car. We have about 10 miles to cover today, so it's still gonna be another solid day hike. Look at Nick's toenails. The mud is like clinging to them. You look so pretty. <laughs> I feel pretty. <laughs> All right guys, that is it. We are almost back at the car. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was an insane, epic backpacking trip I will remember forever. Like it was incredible. If you wanna know more details about this hike, check the description box below. I have a full vlog right up there for you. And make sure to check out some of these other videos on my channel. I upload new videos every single week. So hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.